Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first ever Conqueror's Blade video. Today, I will give you some much needed information on Conqueror's Blade. Before we get started, you need to know that this game is free, free to play, meaning you only spend your money on cosmetics and other things to make yourself look cooler. Um, and it's also a tiered battle system, like most games these days, but it's not pay to win. Conqueror's Blade is an incredibly fun and unique MMO. It's based in medieval times. Uh, players select uh, a warlord from about 12 available classes or warlords. Uh, these are fighting classes. Uh, each have their own weapon specialization and, can, and you can customize the gender and their appearance. Available weapons include the long sword and shield, a uh, short sword and shield, a glaive, a poleaxe, musket, and so on and so forth. These are ranging from close combat to kind of tankier builds to long range uh, archers and musket classes. Warlords can be controlled directly in combat via a third person view, uh, and you can issue commands to your different units on the battlefields and during sieges. In the game, you unlock loads of different units from Eastern and Western civilizations, completely different eras and time zones. Um, you play as a warlord of your choice as you take part in quests, sieges, field battles, territory wars for land, and much, much more. There are five types of matches. That's a standard battle, a territory war, expeditions, events, and ranked battles. The housing system is also a really cool and exciting thing, which means you can kind of play with your friends or get to know loads of other people. It's very much like a guild or a clan in other types of MMOs. Players can form houses with other players. And like I said, it's like a guild system, allowing players to form an alliance to share resources and rewards. And you can team up to participate in larger battles and territory wars, which is one of the things that I love and find super unique about this game. This is just a brief overview of what you can do in the game. You can also level up, craft, upgrade your items, and level up your units. Units are what make this game super unique and exciting. And if used properly, they can really influence a fight and swing the battle on its head. If you aren't sure on this game, make sure you type in Conqueror's Blade into Google or other search platforms. Um, the reviews online are fairly positive. You can find this game on Steam, and as I said before, it is free to download. When you first log in to the game, the first part is picking your server. Unlike World of Warcraft and other big MMORPGs, you, can, you don't have too many servers to pick from and it makes it a lot easier. I play in EU2, which is a, a largely populated server, obviously EU based, and I'm in Athena, which is a very, very good and exciting house to be part of. This game is truly trying to help you as once you've picked your class or your warlord, you get a small and brief introduction slash tutorial, but actually, I feel that it's a very useful tutorial just to help you teach and learn the mechanics. Uh, it's a very basic tutorial, but once complete and you load up into the big wide world of Conquest Blade, you will have an understanding. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna take you in to the tutorial part of the game. So as we can see here guys, you just fill in your name after the character customization screen. Uh, we're just going to go with F Bertie because obviously my other names are taken. And here we load in to the tutorial part of the game. Here we get to the training yard. Welcome sir. Our Lord ordered me to make sure you're fully recovered for the upcoming battle. This is where everything is pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, W to move forward. Like all MMORPGs, F to interact. And this is the fun part, okay? Um, on the left-hand side, you have the easy, moderate, and hard uh, weapons to use. And then on the right-hand side, you also have a brief description of, of what the class is. For, so for the purpose of this uh, beginner's guide and a video, 
I'm going to pick Glaive because I'm actually looking to try Glaive out. Uh, I originally started as a spear and I'm currently a musket main. Now I've uh, picked my class or my weapon. It's just left mouse button to attack. You've got to just simply complete the challenges that are set. So WASD. Okay. Right mouse button to block. And then your attacks of choice. As simple as that, you can delete the guy. Second part, you can press B to do your riding school. And as I said, this is a very basic tutorial, but I really do think it's pretty interesting and good. It tells you exactly where it wants you to go. You can learn to attack the dummies on the way. Okay. And then apart from that, shift is to run. But my horse is obviously out of stamina already as it's a beginner horse. Okay, you gallop through the gate, and then, as simple as that, you can hop off your horse and leave the training yard, starting your journey. Good luck. Here, after the tutorial part, you then go into what I would say is a small scenario of how a field battle would work or a siege. You have your units. C is for units to follow. X is for them to hold. And V is for them to attack. Obviously my units are doing all the damage there. I haven't need to do anything. But if I want to attack, I can. Health is at the bottom left hand corner. And I'll get them to continue to follow me. Again, shift is run. Double tap is to dodge. Okay. So, I often use X to get them to follow, and then when they're near, we just get them to charge. H is to heal. Okay. And then apart from that, you also have other buttons like F1, F2, and F3. If we were to press F3, my units will surround me and protect me, which is pretty useful. F2 is more of a, a block formation. And then F1 is more separated. You also have 1 and 2 as an option available. 2 is very, very useful for oncoming cavalry, uh, which we will explain at a later date. If you press 2, your units will hold position, taking, d inflicting more damage and being less likely to be hurt. Now I'll get my units to follow me. We've got the final few bits of the of the uh, attack. And here my halberdiers will actually hurt everyone and destroy everyone. Again, need to heal. This is very, very much a tactical based MMORPG or MMO. And like I said, very, very fun the way you can control each unit and you can move things a lot freer than other things and other games. Here I've still got my units and now I just have to capture the flag, which is part of a field of battle. Reinforcements have arrived. I'm actually on my horse. And cavalry, as you can see, very, very useful. Look at that. Look at that attack. Just in itself, just absolutely destroying the enemy cavalry, uh, the enemy, enemy units. And here, all we have to do is capture the flag, and that will be your initial tutorial completed.
I always enjoy these cinematics. It's one of the things I really like about the game. They always produce a really, really good cinematic. As I've already said a couple of times, the tutorial is very, very simple, but it gives you a really good idea of how the game works. And in my opinion, is better than other games tutorials because other games just throw you in the deep end and you've got to learn. Here, you actually get a chance to learn about the styles of games. So here we are. Again, this is a siege and it's teaching you about sieges. Units. And this is where we will fight NPCs and other characters. I'm going to send my units into charge and they should absolutely decimate this guy. Sir John E is dead. Long live the king. So here we have to just get on the point. And we will be playing with other players. And then now we just have to push forwards. And I'm just going to send my, uh, my units again through. Because they should do a lot of damage. And let's clear everyone out. And then we'll come on up to the bridge. Lovely, look at this. Just hacking our way through. Very much this early stage. There's no tactical involvement. You very much just run, hack and slash. Again, like I said, can be a really fun game because you can just click and uh, and smash around and have a good laugh. It's just something fun to play. Um, but there's so much more to it as you progress into the game and further in. Supply points are very important for winning an advantage in a siege battle. And you can also get stuck in between units as you can see I am right now. I can't really get out, there you go. And now, I regroup with my troops. And my troops should hopefully do all the damage as I stand off and heal. And as you can see, numbers are ticking away. That number just above me is how many units you've killed. If you press tab, you can also see the breakdown of everything that's going on. How many unit kills and so on. go capture the supply point and then you can change units or you can do whatever you want as you can see I've got two purple units to start with you can also change in game your weapon your horse and your artillery when you get them my units have run off fortunately again just mass fights and uh Loads of people, and this is what it can be like in a, in a game with other players. It's, it's a big old brawl, and depending on the units and what you've got, and the positions that you put them in can really, really depend on how well you do. Like, this guy's got some farmers. They're very, very low-level units. I think they're actually white units, uh, which is like a common slash the lowest level possible. Um, and like I said, you can just hack your way through. It depends how you want to play the game. If you want to play it lots and progress lots, then I would highly suggest um, paying attention to lots of videos and lots of content creators' videos. And I'm just going to charge all my, my units through there. Again, they'll do some good damage. I need to heal, so I just back off. They've got no ranged characters. I'm able to heal and not have a problem. As you can see, bottom left-hand corner, my units are decreasing and aren't as strong right now. And there's a lot less of them. But if I press two, they'll probably be a lot more defensive. 
and block more and, and so on and so forth. And look, some units can block you. That yellow bar is also how much they blocked. You can get more and more units flooding in. I'm going to recall and I'm going to quickly go back to get more units. I've killed 246. I'm going to summon my berserkers into battle. Which obviously takes a moment. I also can heal whilst I'm waiting. Units retreat. And then I have my eight berserkers. Who, uh, who can do some real big damage. And we've won. We've won. Um, this, after the tutorial and so on and so forth, you now get a chance to pick three units for you to start. Uh, start your game with. I think, I think they're random. But if you get a chance, I would probably pick Pikeman. Uh, some Cav. I wouldn't necessarily pick them based on their level or their stars, but either a rattan or an iron cap. I'd probably say iron cap. And then for your better units, I personally think halberdiers are very, very good. Um, I know people like pikemen um, and then shielded units. So for this time, I'm going to go shielded units. And just like that, we finish our tutorial. So, oh. and just like that, we finish our tutorial. If you want to obviously use your mouse, you just left click and it takes you to the individual. You complete the quests. And that is you starting into the world of Conqueror's Blade. Thanks for watching guys. That is the end of my Conqueror's Blade tutorial. Very basic and very simple. It's basically just for you guys to see if you like the look of the game. Like I said many times, it's free. And it's lots and lots of fun. So make sure you download it, play it. And if you need me, comment in the section below or find me over on twitch.tv forward slash French Bertie. Peace. You guys have a great time. Thanks again.